Where like where do you fit in at that? Like where you get your where you get your vitamin D from? Out of the omega threes, out of the fish, like the Neanderthals, right? Because the Africans that migrated from over there started civilizations over here. We know them as these elite Africans that already knew how to cut this basalt stones. They came with this, like they already came with this mentality, right? With this high science, right? The Olmecs are the people who started the, like the blueprint to the civilizations to America. Like they literally started, like, this is the cradle of civilization. That's who created it here in America. You feel what I'm saying? All credible civilizations all over the earth were started by the Anu, all right? But if you want to go, like, deeper, you couldn't have been over here, right? Oluduan Chopper, you feel me? That's Homo Habilis, right? We ain't even talking about, like, tropical Homo, uh, what is his name? Uh, how do we say that? I can't even remember. Do you feel me? But Homo erectus, Australopithecus. Those two. We ain't even going to those two. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to look into the earth, then when you look at the last glacial period, right, you, you, you can actually see who was where, geographically speaking, like respectfully to their locations on the earth, where were Neanderthalus, right? Where was Homo erectus, Homo sapien, Homo sapien, sapien? Where were these people at, right? Where were the hominids at, right? Where are you from? You couldn't... <laughs> Y'all got to stop pushing that bullshit rhetoric, whatever agenda that you have or whatever you're up to, right? It is literally to de-Africanize. They already tried it with the Afro-Asiatic shit. Right, with that with the whole Asiatic foundation was to de Africanize, right? All of us. Anybody that was in the global diaspora or diaspora, right? Or diaspora. Like it's ridiculous, man. Y'all keep pushing that bullshit. Y'all getting paid to push that bullshit. And you motherfuckers that ain't really done done at work, ain't ain't really studying to find the information to see what's actually going on. They are dividing you from you. <laughs> it's this it's the simple play they did, right, over in Egypt, right, with the Greeks. Then the Rome, the Romans came and did that. You see what I'm saying? You're gonna get the usurping the supplanty all over again. It's no different than when the motherfucking Indo Europeans, Indo Iranians and shit became motherfucking Jews. It's no difference. They're doing the same shit. You see what's going on? They already done, done it over here. That's how you got the birth of the $5 Indian. As long as you, a nation <laughs> that is divided amongst itself cannot stand. Because a double-minded a double, a double man is unstable in all his ways. And that's the problem. We really one people, but then it told you that we two. It's the same play that they put down with Ham and Shem. You see what I'm saying? The ham and Shem has to be one person. Because we know that the ham literally means the sun. That's just really what it means, right? We know these are allegories, right? Hitting symbolism using fictional characters in these books, right? We know that ham literally means the sun, but here comes Shem, and all of a sudden, through a curse or a, 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 a supposed to be blessing, he is different, right? They got the same parents, but he literally... Him and his brother are like two separate, like that shit makes no sense at all. That's the same play they put down over here. Over your land, over everything that is about you. And they become you. So now when you hear motherfuckers like Kanye West, Whoopi Goldberg, anybody that say anything against the Jews and shit, they anti-Semitic. Because they became them. This is the shit that they doing to you. Like... You can't watch the play. You don't see the hook to where you can fucking duck or however you need to, whatever you need to counter the motherfucker or something. But don't just let the motherfucker jab you and shit. You feel me? And then you just run off. You just run and hold your face and shit. It's ridiculous. You're fighting every Pan-African on the planet. Anybody that say that they're black, anybody that say that's African, it literally pisses you off. It's just trigger word. 
Like you hear the word African and you just, I ain't African, I ain't black. Black being deaf. It's like, bro, we ain't even arguing that shit no more. That means you haven't ascended yet. That means you're still stuck down here and that you're still full of shit. Your heart chakra block. You can't go nowhere. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to keep bouncing down through here because you can't go higher. Right? Because you don't want to. You don't care to. The things that you worry about is all of the wrong shit. Right? These people are taking your identity and you're arguing about it. With the people who's telling you they're taking your identity this way. Okay. Gentlemen, welcome to the Mikulin. I am Paul Russo, the beginner, the house manager. All right. How you doing? Nice to meet you. How do you do? Anything that you need, please find me. Thank you. Certainly. So, what is the actual difference between a Hutu and a Tutsi? According to the Belgian colonists, the Tutsis are taller, are more elegant. It was the Belgians that created the division. Oh. Yeah. They pick people, uh, those with uh, thinner noses, lighter skin. They used to measure the width of people's noses. The Belgians used the Tutsis to run the country. Then when they left, they left the power to the Hutus. And of course, the Hutus took a revenge on the elite Tutsis for years of repression. Am I telling the truth, Paul? Yes, unfortunately. Please take this to the general. Benedict is our finest journalist in Kigali, an expert on the subject. So what are you, Paul? I am Hutu. Gentlemen. More champagne? More champagne would be nice. Thank you. Thanks. Excuse me, honey. Can I ask you a personal question? Are you a Hutu or a Tutsi? I am Tutsi. And your friend, Tutsi? No, I'm Hutu. They could be twins. Grandbaby in the background getting it in, but as you can see, we got a real problem, right? Now, this is the difference between those who are in the know and those who are not in the know. Because knowing is half the battle, okay? That means that if you at least know what is going on, then you can at least try to do something about the problem. But if you don't know, then you won't even realize or come to the conclusion that you're even in a situation that you need help or dire, extreme saving, right? This is what we are going through as a people, right? Dissociative identity disorder, dissociative identity behavior, because we are two people. This is the trauma that we suffer, right? Because we are African and American. You understand, right? So we have the original nature and then we have another nature that has been grafted on to us, right? Because we are no longer, right? Now we are the gods have risen, the NGR, right? You cannot erase that, right? But the creation of the NI, G G E R is exactly what we're going through. And those men and women who have uh, have enough power, money, uh, in the positions of uh, politics, judges, right? Whatever it may be, we have the money, the know, the whatever we need. And even now, black African Americans don't want to be African after you have received all of this and it's 2024 and we have arrived you have found another way to separate yourself from yourself by calling yourself Native American congratulations Kenneth you have performed a minor miracle congratulations yes sir You should spit in my face. Excuse me, Kenna. You're dirt. We think you're dirt, Paul. Who is we? The West. All the superpowers. Everything you believe in, Paul. They think you're dirt. They think you're dumb. You're worthless. I'm afraid I don't understand what you are saying, sir. Oh, come on. Don't bullshit me, Paul. You're the smartest man here. You got them all eating out of your hands. You could own this freaking hotel, except for one thing. 
You're black. You're not even a nigger. You're an African. They're not gonna stay, Paul. They're not gonna stop this.